Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of Medieval Two Kingdoms, the Welsh edition, where we are trying to make a final push on the remaining Scottish lands up here in Wick. But the Scottish have allied with the Norwegians and they've got a quite tough army for us to go up against. And our army is a little bit battered and broken. We've got a very good amount of range, but not a huge amount else. And so we have to kind of grab some military from wherever we can really. But the problem is we're all it's, we're very heavily <laughs> archer based and it's just not worth it. Yes. We do have this unit of um, spearmen coming in but it's going to take them absolutely ages to get up that far. I could go by by boat at Newcastle. Command me, sire. It may not be the worst in the world. We, we we've got to watch out for this Scottish Navy here, but we can get ourselves up to Edinburgh Docks and just then up to Aberdeen Docks and then up to Inverness Docks. So that's probably the quickest way we'll get those troops to the front line. And we can supplement it from um, troops here in Inverness. I'm going to my spy up this way as well to keep an eye on Norway as well as Wick. Looks to me here like there's a pretty tough force there in Wick per se. Uh, we've got a pretty good assassin here. We might even be able to take out Scotland just by taking out their faction leader because I think that may be the last family member they have. And if you take out the last family member, well then you're pretty good. You're sorted. Um, apparently no one's taken that. No one's taken the Isle of Isle the entire time. Or Isle, Isle, however you say it. Um, so what we're going to start doing is go, we're going to pass the turn because there's not much more we can do this turn. But then we'll start getting a force ready to go after Norway. Because Norway will be our next major force that we need to deal with. Ireland will be the last kingdom we take on over at the Emerald Isle. Um, but they're not going to go down f they're not going to go down easy for sure. They're going to cause us a few problems I think. But we should be able to manage this. We're not taking the war with Norway yet. If we end up becoming at war with Norway, there's another Scottish family member there. That's annoying. Uh, we're going to have to deal with him, but we've actually lost one of our other assassins. But we might be able to take him out. If we take him out in the open field, that would work. If we take him out in the open field and then we just um, assassinate the guy there, that'd be good. Where are you going, Mr. Norway? Mr. Norway, I have not been sent here to I, I wonder if we're going to Aberdeen. It looks like you kind of are. Okay, Pembroke has got his cogs. Carnarvon is starting to work on recruitment. And we've got a bunch more stuff as well. Excellent. Faction announcements a few more retinues, but nothing major. And we are indeed the richest faction. Too late for talk now, laddie. Well, you're not the faction heir. Jimmy, let's, fight. let's see if we can get the faction leader down here. Ooh, 10%. That may not be worth it. Let's go to this guy. It's 76%. It's better than nothing. And we have some troops that can go here. Uh, let's just merge what we can. Speed militia are kind of terrible, but we'll take them nonetheless. Uh, you can go there, and you can go there. It doesn't mean you can't quite reach. I never like sailing anyway. anyway, but you can get a little bit closer. And you can get some Gallo Glyph, which I will take. Because Gallo Glyph are pretty good infantry, all things considered. You're not going to be the commander. You're just transporting troops to the front line. Uh, I'm, I'm not really fond of this Norwegian army. So what I'm going to do, get King to fit out here. And he is going to put me down a... Oh, we can't build forts. Okay. Come so Kinderfid is going to stand right there. And he's going to bring out as many archers with him as possible. And basically just hold the line. Hold the line against this Norwegian army. And we've got some infantry that we can use. I bet not much. Uh, if we can use our superior archers, that might be the best option. We'll retrain all of these. Uh, Inverness, we're going to have to figure out a way to make them happier. 
I'm sure that is a good time. Recruitment in Aberdeen. Can't do much there in terms of NS recruiting agents. That's not really worthwhile. In Velocchi, we can get a little bit out. Let's get some mailed knights and some mailed old spearmen going. And down in Wales, here at Carnarvon, we're starting on a new army. Um, let's get some... Get three more Sethway here. And what we'll do, probably go with some siege or some bombard just so we can siege places quickly. Pembroke, you can have a blacksmith because you're a castle. Uh, but there's nothing actually there I particularly want. Cardiff, you can get some basic troops, but again, not really that useful. Uh, take the shipwright, that's fine. And in Gloucester, can't get more spearmen there. We can get more spearmen in Montgomery, though. Excellent. Montgomery can also have a blacksmith, just so our troops get a little bit better. And who do we want to lead this first force? Are you any good? You know what? You're not terrible. You're a fair fighter, proper morals, feels appreciated. Crumbs in commander. Set of four winning. It's probably butchering that. You, my mad good man, are going to go take Castletown for us. Under Admiral Caradog. While we push up in and finish with the remaining Norwegian troops and Irish troops, uh, sort of Irish troops, Scottish troops in the area. Do we have any more? You can go to the front lines. Once we've taken Wick, we can go for Kirkwall and go to Sky as well. The Norwegians don't have that much. I don't think we need to be too worried about them in the grand scheme of things. Okay, we spent all our money. Oh, we didn't move our troops along, that's fine. We're moving some troops along somewhere, which is the main thing. <laughs> we will just need to kind of blitzkrieg our way through Ireland, though, when we get to that point. But we'll just land with pretty much all our forces and do what we can there. Looks like they're drawing themselves out of Wick again, which is not necessarily a bad thing for us. If I could take out any spare family members, that would be excellent. Look, like Scotland and Ireland are still at war. Cool. The Irish would try to take Castle Town and failed. And also the Norwegians go around the long way. Guild available. Uh, Edinburgh, Thieves Guild, why not? And football has been denounced. True religion of the masses. We also have Grifford Foot, who's come of age, and he is not great. And he's at Inverlochy. He can stay there. And York's got a warehouse. Right. Can we get some more recruitment going? We can't, but we can get some troops forward to keep the defense army. Uh, you guys can go as well. Pretty much all the cavalry. Give you a decent cavalry contingent. Now we just need some better infantry. <laughs> Uh, right, let's get you back on the boat. This is not your fleet, you galoot. Okay, uh, we'll get you as close as we can up north. And I fully suspect that Admiral Scotland here will come in and take out our ships, but that's okay. We will just have to manage. Most of us this island. And... King Defence is probably fairly ready to move. He just needs a bit more of a front line. Uh, assassin. 61%. Give it a go. There we go. Not bad at all. So there'll still be a... Ooh, even that's a pretty strong army. If that's coming for Inverlochy, we might have issues. Uh, get me some Gwent Raiders there. They're not ideal troops, but they'll do something... Because either Norway or Scotland are coming for us. And next yes. turn, once we have a bit more infantry here, we'll push forwards. I did see we had another army somewhere on the move, albeit quite far away. Yes, here you are. Ah, you were going to go to catch up here, weren't you? You could actually be... You could go up and deal with some of the Norwegian towns, couldn't you? 
And over here we need to get the troops of Montgomery over to Caernarvon, as well as three troops from Pembroke and three troops from Gloucester. Get them all moving and we'll get a new army set up here to start pushing in to the Norwegian territories because we're going to go to war with them anyway, we may as well start the process. Uh, let's just move this spy here, because then we see Kirkwall as well. Excellent. Maybe actually you can go just take Kirkwall. Uh, we need to probably just do a little bit of recruitment here. Just so they get a little bit happier. Aberdeen seems to be struggling a little bit. What I would actually do is give them two crossbowmen. Just drop them down to 55%, which is hardly ideal. Do we have any spare so much generals? Command, Edwin the Wrathful, you could go down and manage Aberdeen, that's okay. Them, sire, the spent. And we've got a bit of money to spend. Let's spend it on something like Carnarvon. Well, Carnarvon's already going for its barracks. We'll start focusing on our Welsh castles again because they're going to be the ones dealing with the Irish fight for the most part, I imagine. Montgomery. We need to work on your population growth. So you can have a crop rotation queued up. And Gloucester. Anything here that we could usefully get? We get a barracks, archery range. Baron stables wouldn't be bad. Can already get some mailed knights. Uh, again, take an armourer just so our troops are even more armoured for the fights to come. Shrewsbury may get involved in the fight. In terms of recruitment here, we don't have much ability. I don't particularly care for Hellweir. They're not Sethweir, so I'm just going to give them a drill square. Just so we have better chance at dealing with the... Or better chance at getting more and more infantry out of the field. Because that's something we've struggled with the entire time, really, is our infantry production. So that's what we're going to focus on. Okay, Come next on, turn we make a move on Wick, depending on what Norway and Scotland decide to do. Get these troops up to join up with forces, King Lew Sire. No, not King Llewellyn. King Llewellyn is dead. King Llewellyn died last episode. <laughs> I should say King Defford. But if you look at the, the map of the British Isles, it's overwhelmingly green. Either Irish green or Welsh green. Which is pretty damn good. Looks <laughs> like so the Irish are going to have another go at Castletown. Possibly the War of the Princesses is going to begin here. Um, and maybe they might even sue for peace. But I think the Irish are more powerful. And I don't mind them... I don't mind them knackering the Norwegian armies, to be perfectly honest with you. It's actually quite useful, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> so, Scotland seems to, They've just invented a new general out of nowhere. I just killed the Scottish general there, and they've just invented a new one. Uh, as expected, we uh, were going to have some issues here, yeah. But we got our ships closer, we got our troops closer to the front line of Scotland and Norway. So that's that's the main thing, that's important. Norway's moving back, that's frustrating. And we have another Norwegian army arriving. We will declare war on Norway pretty much instantaneously. This is a this is a completely new general that this game has invented because they're losing too much. Uh, get rid of you. There we go. And I go to you next turn, there'll be another one back. <laughs> King Defeat is getting less noble in rule. Ireland and Norway are no longer fighting, as expected. The negotiations at the Isle of Man here actually did come through. City Ranger upgrade Newcastle upon Tyne. More than happy to do that. Does cost quite a bit, but it'll be worth it. Fash announcements, a few more minor things, nothing really. So right, Carnarvon's got itself an upgraded barracks. Which means we can get the more uh, more Ganwins. A more Ganwin spearmen. I really can't pronounce that, but we can get them out now, which is good. Uh heavy armour, get partial play out of Carnarvon. That would not actually be bad. <laughs> yeah, do that. It's going to take five turns. But being able to get heavy plate out for my troops yes. in Kyanarvan is pretty damn Come snazzy. Uh, this chap is just going to leave and these three spearmen will go in. 
that's pretty much a full army, a full stack army, in kind of ready to go. In fact, we can start moving them towards yes. the border. Uh, it's got archers, it's got spearmen, it's got cavalry, it's got um, Kulverin. We can make a push on cast town this turn, in fact. Uh, we'll put you back in Kyanarvan. And we do have a few more troops coming in. They can go to Kyanarvan for either retraining or to go straight out to the front lines should they need to. Okay, how far away are you? You're going just to Aberdeen to manage it. You can get close to. We shall slaughter them you can start making a move on Wick. Yes. Yes, sir. Move you, King Defeat, are just going to start moving on Wick. I think we can't afford to wait much longer. Faction there, faction leader there. If we take those both out, then we wouldn't have to deal with Wick as a Scottish fort, fortress. And those noble swordsmen are no joke, and hanging out for 10 turns is going to be tough. I can recruit some Bombard here, which means I wouldn't necessarily have to wait around to siege in Wick. That may be a good option. Okay, let's get you as close as we can to the front lines. Uh, Mercenary Cog, Welsh Longbowmen. I don't think we've really used the Welsh Longbowmen much at all, but they're Pretty, they're pretty average, I think. I'm not sure they're that good. Uh, let's get you up to the front yes, lines as well. We shall continue tomorrow, my I think we will just we will manage to overwhelm them, and then we just got to push through Norway. Uh, but we, we just some I big armies that I'm not speak. thrilled about taking on. There's a lot of Huskars, who while they're not the best cavalry, they're still significant enough cavalry to make me worry. I think so. We're going to push on Castle Town this turn because it's relatively underfair. We have a very powerful army coming in to take it out. Um, it does mean that we might anger the Norwegians up north defending Scotland, but we're always going to anger the Norwegians anyway. So we may as well strike the first blow and get a good advantage. Unless Ireland's about to. Yeah, Ireland's about to restart the war, I think. Ah, that's interesting. That's very interesting indeed. The Scottish King has left. Um, they are coming to do a kind of all final final assault. They can see me encroaching on their territory, and the Norwegians are here as well. Oh no! Norway and Scotland are at war. Norway and Scotland are at war. I did not see that coming. Because I think Norway was protecting Scotland, but not anymore. But it does mean King of the Wind is kind of trapped in where he is. Fashion announcements. A couple more births. Lots of blacksmiths and armour has been done. Right, diplomacy. What's going on? Scotland's at war with everyone. Gotcha. An order. I can't get myself out of here. Unless I fight those chaps there. Can I get myself a boat Move. here? I can get myself a mercenary cog. Get over to Wick and start besieging it straight dogs. away. Because inside there is only the faction leader, King Feradak, which means we should be able to take him out with no issue. King Defeat here is just going to recruit some more troops to deal with. The army that comes in. He does get a mercenary captain, which is nice. And our assassin. Who do we want him to work on? You know, let's move him up north. Maybe he can deal with some of the Norwegian armies in that direction. So, while that's happening, that's not too bad. I think we should be able to deal with that. They're fairly experienced troops, but I want to make a push. On Castle Town, so Kefador, you are a new no young man with a plan. I didn't even realise there were some other troops right. even on land. You guys can just uh, be disembarked. You guys get on board and get back on there. And what we'll do, we've got some other Welsh fleets down here. I'll get them into Dumfries or as close as we can to Dumfries. 
Do we have another general in this part of the world that could take that army out to deal with Norway? Who's not utterly dreadful? There's probably one in Lancaster. Roberts, you're dreadful. And not in a good way. You guys keep moving up north. Um, Hywel of Glynn is not terrible. We'll get him to pick up this secondary army that we're going to create up. We shall continue and in Carnarvon, we'll start recruiting some more Sethwyr and some more troops in general for that secondary army. We're just going to start creating some full stacks as best possible <laughs> and start charging in. Get another cog in Pembroke. Um, we'll get these guys ready to go as well. You guys can join up up there. So here we've got quite a good infantry army. We just need a bit more in the way of archers. Get some Seth we're here. Uh, we're running out of money. That's okay. Next time we push on Castletown. I don't know what King Defeat is going to do here because he's in a multitude of issues, especially with that Norway. So let's end the turn. See what conspires with Norway, with Scotland. But we should be able to take out Scotland this turn because they foolishly abandoned Wick to come and try and intimidate King Defid out on the road. And what a mistake that will prove to be for them. <laughs> we'll strike a blow against Norway and then we just have to deal with the Irish threats. Um, the Irish are pretty strong. It's something we have to be aware of. They're not going to be a cake walk. It's not going to be a cake walk team with them for sure. Okay, what's Scotland going to do here? Scotland's going to probably try recoup their losses. Um, that's a new general, just come out of nowhere. They're fighting each other. Scotland won that fight against Norway. I'm actually, I'm actually happy about that because that means uh, Norway will be easier to to kill next turn. Please leave my fleet alone. That's fine. If you kill it, it's done its job. It was a mercenary cog. It would be useful to have some. It would be useful to have some fleets up in that part of the world for sure. Okay, Scotland pulls back to their fort, and Norway starts. Oh my goodness, there's a large group in Castletown. I tell you what, if we can take that group of Castletown preemptively. Oh, they're coming for Wick, but I think they're going to be too late. First of all, which is faction is Ireland? Faction announcements, couple of retinues, construction. Shaftesbury has got a drill square. Excellent. Let's take out Wick once and yes, for all. Moving to crush the enemy. And you know what? It's the final. F it's the final fight. No we will. It's the final fight of Scotland, all. unless they've managed to take another uh, place somewhere else. But I don't believe they have done. So we're just going to push forward and we're going to take it, hopefully. But I think we should fight this on the actual field of battle because this is the last Scottish army, or the last Scottish fortress, I should say. So, as far as I'm aware, they're just going to sit in the town centre because they're cavalry. All of you are just going to drop your equipment. And we're just going to scrum in with all these spearmen to go deal with the Scottish king. It looks like he's actually going to go off the town centre, which is actually quite useful for me. Um, let's get the ram down. Once we've got the ram down, or the gate down, I should say, then we can just charge in with as many spearmen as we've got. And we can take out this Scottish King, and that should be Scotland dealt with. And then we can push on to Norway. Hopefully. <laughs> That's the plan. But plans don't always come to fruition, as you might have been able to tell recently. Okay, come on, lads. Let's get, let's get that ram. Let's get it down. Luckily, it's not too long. Once they, once they actually make it to the gates, it's not too long. Okay. And charge! <laughs> charge the general's bodyguard. This might be a really silly way to do it. But it's a fun way to do it. And you know what? The Welsh militiamen can also join in, even though they're not taking these spearmen. Neither the Welsh can I'd like. Oh, they, okay. Hang on. No, no, no. no. Uh, they're going to pull back. So I need you to actually. We need to actually go back and get the ram, sorry. <laughs> We're going to need the ram for the second layer of walls as well. Hopefully we don't have an issue where the ram burns to death, which it could do. Okay, pick up the ram. 
There we go, ramp it up. Just get time to heal along here. We need to just get this other gate down. Come on, Rosh Militia, you're kind of the, the least experienced troops of the lot, although you might actually be better than some of these spear militia, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, let's get the general in here in case we need him. And we can, uh, we can also get our most of the crossbowmen in as well. I mean, this is a competent enough army. It's not a full army, but it will do the job of taking out some of the lighter Norwegian armies and the lighter Norwegian cities. Whereas King Llewellyn can focus on some of the tougher ones once he has some reinforcements of infantry. Which he should get fairly soon. Okay, let's get this ram down. Let's get this gate down with the ram, I should say. Take him out, and then we should be okay to finally deal with Scotland once and for all. Which will be excellent. Okay, how far away is the ram? The ram's not too far away now. Our troops are going to be kind of, not exhausted, but they're going to be warmed up. They're not going to be completely fresh because they've had to run in this castle. I could have made them walk, but sometimes when you're waiting for something to happen, it can be quite slow anyway, so... <laughs> get the gate down, please. I mean, once I get there, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, thankfully, the towers aren't being activated, so we're not going to have any issues with the ram burning. Our men have reached the gate with which the is always good. So, 12%, 24%, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96. Well. The gates go, go, go! Charge, gentlemen! Maybe not the Welsh militiamen first. Like, not the weakest unit we have in the entire army. Charge in first. Once some of the other more important troops have made it in, right now, the Welsh militiamen can, can go as well. And any of the um, groups slightly further back uh, can also do some flanking manoeuvres. We control the, control of the city. We will lose some troops here, but I don't particularly mind. Let's just encircle them as best we can. Take them out. The battle is very that much, much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Okay. Everyone attack. Everyone attack. The enemy king lies dead. Enemy king lies Sing dead. King Feradak is gone. And that should be Scotland out of the game. At least I sincerely hope so. Trade increase. Victory! Culturally, it's going to be very Scottish or Norwegian, so we might need to sack it, but no, it looks okay. That looks to me like faction destroyed. The long legacy of these people was at last come to an end by your hand. Celebrations held in honour of your glorious conquest of the Dead Dominion are up throughout the kingdom, with everyone from prince to pauper toasting your righteous reign. Okay. Which means it's time to push on Norway. So, you're going to come here and you're going to go straight up to Kirkwall, pretty much. Uh, that's not too uh, strong of an army, it's okay. We'll leave a token garrison behind, let's say, these spearmen. These spearmen, these two units of spearmen, we'll leave behind. You're going to go here, you're going to land in Kirkwall, and you're going to go attack Kirkwall. Not that you can reach it this turn, but I'll also take some Gallag like because Gallag like are just fun troops all around. Now, we were going to push on Castletown as well, weren't we? You two are going to merge. And we've got this guy ready to join up with them. Uh, we'll just get these guys merged together. And we'll get this ship over to this Welsh dock here. And that will be where we launch a secondary invasion from. I need you to last the castle, land the castle town. Oh, there's a very large Norwegian army there. You know what? That's okay. Landing there. As long as I can get my troops ashore somewhere. Which is proving a little troublesome, admittedly. Okay. Uh, next turn. <laughs> we haven't technically declared war on Norway just yet. So we should be okay. They shouldn't actively attack us, but I'd like to... F if I can fight that army out in the open field, 
I don't really need to deal with a, a siege of castle town, which would be actually be quite quite useful to be honest. That means that we would save quite a bit of time and doing a proper proper siege. As long as I can find somewhere to get my troops ashore. Oh my goodness, Ireland coming a it's a race for a race for the Isle of Man between myself and Ireland. And here come the Norwegians. Okay, that we might still maybe be able to make that work. Another force here at Wick. Wick's in open rebellion. And I'm guessing they're gonna attack Wick. Source with skilled at Wick. Absolutely, yes please. Um Source with Skilled will be excellent. Um Rising at Wick, that's okay. Um they should recover pretty soon. We'll give them a chapel to hopefully help with that. Construction, we're okay. Fashion announcements, William of Glynn has come of age. He's usually rolled and crude. Hardly a, a special character. Uh, mission failed. We didn't assassinate an individual. That's okay. Which is fashion is us. Betrayed. Ireland. Are we at war with Ireland now? Oh, we're at war with Ireland. Huh. Why is that? Oh, really? Of all the things they decided to do, they decided to blockade Carnarvon. Okay, well, time for all that war. We're not waiting to deal with Norway later. Um, any... There's mostly ribalds here, but I'll take the mercenary crossbow. We're just going to make good use of mercenaries as best possible. Uh, siege for seven turns. It's in... Right, it's writing already. To war, then, so we're going to... We're going to be all at war now, but that's fine. Siege. Planned, Relations sir. worsened with Norway, abysmal, understandably. Uh, just recruit what we can here. Um, I don't see any issues with the army there. So if there's other armies elsewhere. King Llewellyn. I don't really want to spend my time dealing with this general. He's not a particularly strong general, but he's still a general I don't really have the time to deal with. We have more pressing issues now. Let's get ourselves over here. As you command. And we'll hire ourselves a boat and go take out uh, Stornoway and Sky. At Ivalochi, we've got a decent force. We could go for Mole with this lot. Uh, who's the better commander here? William Foot is a decent commander. Uh, also, just recruit some more while we're here. Um, but Griffith Foot has a little bit more. Oh, goodness, look at his loyalty. No. We're going with William. We're going to go with. Uh, Fairly small force. Yes, and we're going to go over here. First of all, just pop down a watchtower. If we can. Just for a slightly better vision yes, of Mull. And um, what we will do, we will get a boat over there from Inverlochy, probably. Uh, so take out of that and take a cog. We're going to try and blitzkrieg our way through Norway, which is probably not a great thing to say, but the principle still stands. Uh, if I take out this general, then that might deal with the army as a whole. Nope, no luck this time. Trade decrease, that's okay. So we're out of war with Wales. Oh, wait, Wales are actively at war with Ireland and Norway. This is going to be an absolute cluster for uh, Castletown. Norway's not actually at war with Ireland. Which might be a problem. Huh. So, what do we want to do with this army then? If I get this army ashore. I'll rip off your head and spit on your neck. The problem is, we still have these Ulster Swordsmen, which isn't hardly ideal. But I'm going to give it a go. Here we go. If I take out. Really, the contact this turn. That's unfortunate. They run out of movement at the wrong time. Um, that's really unfortunate. Okay. Um, oh, we're going to take out this princess if we can. There we go. Princess is down. Nations worsened with Ireland. You shouldn't have attacked my boats. You attacked my boats, and that was your fault. So. You asked for it, we're taking you out. 
Having said they do have hulks. Uh, clear victory, excellent. Get away from my boats, please, thank you. Admiral Caradog is now a competent sailor, excellent. So relations with Ireland very poor. Not great, but understandable. Take these two Welsh long bowmen. I believe they are long range. Yes, they are. We're still doing pretty well in terms of money, so that's not an issue. Get ourselves back in port. Pick up what troops we can from here at Carnarvon this turn. And next turn, this army will go. Uh, you can take these three troops for now. And take the. Um, there's enough archers actually, I would say. Let's actually change that out for another male knights. Or we can go for bombard. Which may not be a worse idea in the world. Because then we can just assault town straight away. I suppose having to siege. So let's do that instead. Take two bombards, please. And you can still have these spearmen as well. Okay. Wick should manage. Kill the wounds moving towards the border. Where's that other army that we had knocking about? You. Get yourselves to Dumfries. And get yourself some boats. We will get you a new army at Dumfries ASAP. With honor, sire. Dumfries can actually no recruit anything interesting. Place, no. Uh, we might be able to recall, recruit something from Glasgow. We've got Spear Militia here, but it's not really ideal. Um, at Glasgow, let's give them a communal farming just so they keep growing. But now we need to be focusing on military more than buildings at this stage of the campaign, I would say. Okay, yes. let's... We can also recruit Dunstat. Oh, no, don't recruit, change it to a city. Um, how are we doing here in terms of popularity? This is now overwhelmingly Welsh, excellent. Take the Spearman at Dunstaff and Age. We're going to need to start taking out some of these other settlements. William Fultz can take out Mull and then go, probably go down to deal with Aaron and possibly even either Isle of Ireland, but that seems to be a pretty tough cookie to deal with. We might have to leave that until last. For now, let's end the turn. I can't believe Ireland betrayed us for the sake of blockading one port. It didn't really feel worth it. <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned about their large stacks of armies. We're just going to see how this goes, really. Um, but I'd like to try to take Castle Town before they do. So as to not have to... Oh, really? Another double stack? Goodness me. They've taken... Okay, they've taken... They're now attacking Norway. Got it. This is getting very confusing with all the different armies that are now fighting. So Norway and Scotland are at war. And we need to assassinate someone, you. Well, we were trying to assassinate you before. Let's give it another go, 35%. Nope. <laughs> Wick is still rioting. Assassin dies in action. That's sad. He was a good assassin. Uh, Bryce, we can't quite get you over there this turn. And King the Wayne has some more important things to do. Get yourself, get yourself a boat. Get yourself on the boat and land yourself. Oh, that might be bad if we get ambushed by pirates there. Might be bad indeed. You can also presumably get yourself a. Yes, my leech. Oh, there's no mercenaries here. You can go to Inverlochy. And next turn you can get yourselves over there, that's fine. Over here at Dumfries. We've got some troops at, what was it, Sterling? No, I think it was Carlisle. Get some troops over uh, to here. Pick up these troops in Car from Carlisle. Any other troops from Carlisle to go? These two bits of cavalry can go with them as well. 
and get yourself a Dumfries in port, and these troops can go join them. That's another army pretty much ready to go. Even this is ready to upgrade, we don't have the money to do so, but we will give it a chapel. This spy could probably be more useful in this part of the world, so we'll get him down here. Uh, we'll get him moving in that direction. Now what on earth is going here on here at Castletown? Because I know there's multiple Irish armies here. If I attack Captain Ulrich here... See, because the island's attacking there now, that doesn't actually help me. So I'd actually rather leave Captain Ulrich there. Be honest with you. And this army here, Admiral Caradog, will probably make the first incursion into Irish territory. He just needs to find someone that he can actually do so. He doesn't have much cavalry with in mind. But that's because we were going to take the two bombards, that's why. So let's end the turn again. Okay, we've lost Wick. <laughs> we've lost Wick, but I don't mind. It's it's a rebel settlement. It's not a Scottish settlement anymore. We were, we tried to move too quickly, and now there's a very large rebel force inside Wick. But we can we can take that out in due course. That's not a huge issue, as long as it doesn't return to being Scottish. Can't be because Scottish is out. But if it returns to being Norwegian or Irish. Then of course that's a bit more of a problem, but at the moment it should be okay. I just want to really push into Norway as best I can. I just want to see what happens in Castletown, that's important. Civil revolt in Wick. And we have a suitable husband, but he's actually dreadful, so no. Which is fashion is us, and we presumably have a... Well, we have a new general, he's not bad actually. Uh, where is he? He's in Glasgow. He can head down to Dum. He can head down to Carlisle to get a new on. army we go no started. Um, lots of places ready to upgrade. I want to focus on castles. Pembroke. Yeah, I will upgrade you. We may well need the support from that castle going forward. Can you make it over to? You can't make it over in one turn because these blooming bombards. I think it is worth it. So, go over here. Can land at Dublin next turn. Which has already had some damage to the walls, so that'd be perfect. Castle Town is a mess. We'll have to deal with these other constructions going forward. Another time. Right, King of the Whelan. Get yourself aboard at Stornoway. And get yourself attacking. One ram. Two rams would be more than enough to deal with that, I would say. Just held all the harsh in here. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Kirk Wall. How are we doing here? Okay, we would actually need to do a proper fight here. Let's do that now. And I've got to watch out for the bombard, because uh, they're no joke. Sieges can sometimes be incredibly deadly in the close quarters of a siege battle. So we do need to watch out for that, for sure. Okay, first real fight against the Norwegians that we've had, and it's an actual siege. Okay, how are we doing? Who's going up on the walls? That's... I'm fine with that. Uh, okay, ram. Ladders. Oh, no, you should probably ladder on the right, on the correct side. You ladder over there, please. You can ladder here, you can ladder here, and our siege tower can ladder, or siege itself, all the way over there. That should be more than enough, at least some of that should make it up on the walls. Let's speed up time while our siege is just moving. Bombard there might be concerning. For now they're just idle. The ladders are now in place. Walls are no match for the Valorant But of course, that, that, that could change and that will become a problem going forward. As soon as we get up on the walls, we'll be able to deal with these crossbow militia fairly easily, I would imagine. I would think so, anyway. That is very much in our favour.
If we remain yeah. true and steadfast, we'll be okay. victory will be ours. Okay, we lost we lost Lord the ram. Our siege towers are at the walls. We lost the ram, that's okay. The rest of our siege has the rest of our siege has made it, so that's not a problem. Go take the gates. Once we once we take the gates, then that's ours to kind of ours to deal with. I just get these guys up here. Um okay, maybe a smaller group. Uh, actually, if you just run through, that should be enough. Yes, there we go. The okay. Um, charge! Charge the bombard! <laughs> charge the bombard as quickly as we can, really. Uh, archers, get yourselves involved. And... Look at the general inside as well. We just need to deal with those bombards before they become an issue. Which seems to have happened, which is good. Let's get all our infantry groups together, and we pretty much just charge the town centre. It's a bit of a haphazard way to do things, just kind of brutalistically charging our way through. But it does get the job done, so let's get going. Charge, gentlemen. Charge. There is the stalled stuff mission here, who are, again, no joke. I, you can get some really tough Norwegian armies. Uh, so we do need to deal with these guys. Uh, we'll get our archers firing as well. I don't think we're going to have any issues with morale, but just in case, we'll get our general to blow his horn. You guys can send these guys a little further back, maybe. Could take out them. They're going to waver in a second. Okay. Uh, you guys can go there. Okay, they're, they're routing now, so take him out before they get back to the town centre, please. And I'll go, go, go. Our men, are in command of the city. men are in command of the city. Just keep pushing. So do these sword stuff militia yet, who do, in their defence, look incredibly cool. Uh, with their armour. Not so much their pointy sticks, but their, their armour is cool. We'll get our general in for, for jokes, although that's probably a terrible idea. Good tidings. The enemy general, enemy general lies dead. dead but they won't curtain. they won't break because they're on the town square. But we should win this either via kills or via keeping control of the town square for a long enough period of time. And it looks like it's gonna be that excellent. This is a clear so, victory. quite a few men lost to Captain Snorri, but the amazing is we're, we're, we're taking out the settlements, and that's important. So we take Kirkwall, and that's not in all way dead, but it's the first strike. And we're gonna sack this place. Because they're not going to like us very much here in Norway. It's overwhelmingly Norwegian. Um, we're even going to give this place an abbey to try and get it converted. Because it doesn't mean this guy's going to be stuck here for quite some time. But I tell you what, I think we'll leave things there. As Scotland is now out of the picture and we have started engaging with Norway. We've started the process to deal with Ireland as well. I'll have to see if Admiral Caradog can actually make it across the water. But it seems, it feels like the final few episodes are starting to approach, depending on how much of a tough resistance Ireland gives out. But as long as we can get enough generals over there, swarming through Ireland, we should be okay. All that comes soon, indeed. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.